Welcome back. We're in Studio 61. Time for our Pat of the Week. James Bias is back with us once again for the Connecticut Humane Society. And you've brought this little guy. His name is Milo. You would think we're the guinea pig society. You I know, know, We have right? so many of them well, coming in right now. you bring us also sweet cats and dogs as well. But today we get to feature Milo. And, yeah. and he is about a year and a half old guinea mm -hmm. pig that a um, uh, little boy that was given up. The pet, uh, family could not keep him anymore. Um, mm -hmm. And guinea pigs prefer to keep the, the, the same sexes together, girls or boys, but not mix the two because right, right, they right. reproduce quickly. We don't want accidents. Exactly. Oh, he's doing a little squeak now. Yeah, so he does he does talk and, and with him, he is really attached to people. So I think mm -hmm. somebody who's really looking for a person, mm -hmm. uh, focused guinea pig, Milo's the, the pet you need the, to consider. Yeah. yeah. And he, so he's not really bonded with anyone yet as far as other guinea pigs. No, no he he's not himself. paired up with anybody right now. Uh, but if we have another little boy guinea pig, we could always do a meet and greet. And you mm -hmm. could certainly adopt uh, uh, a little companion, uh, yeah. adopted brother along with Milo. He's behaving, he's just like, it's almost like you might think he was a, is a still picture if I stop moving my yeah. hand. <laughs> well, I think you he's know? checking himself out too. So um, <clears throat> guinea pigs can be very playful. Um, they do yes. like their uh, good um, uh, name brand prepared dry food, but also mm -hmm. their greens and um, uh, items that have vitamin C in their form as well. Mm -hmm. and, and they like to have their exercise, right? They really do. And you know, for the most part, they're a, a non-climbing little creature, so they're not going to jump up on your couch, or, mm -hmm. uh, but they will come when called, particularly if it's feeding time. And they will call out pretty loud. They have yeah. a, a loud whistle to them yeah. too to get your attention. And they squeak also just when they're happy. They right? really do. It's almost it's what almost I, like a purr. Yeah, it's like a guinea pig yeah. purr. And yeah. he's just really enjoying his lap time right now. I really love his coloring too. It's very cool. You know, when they come with different coats, this is a mm -hmm. short coated variety, but we'll see some that are long coated, curly coated. Sorry, I don't um, have any treats for you, buddy. <laughs> and there's some without hair as well. I have so not seen those. We've not had one come in Connecticut in the wintertime. Not not a good choice. <laughs> right, 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 right. And I need a little sweater. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, Milo, you are very, very well behaved. I'm sure we'll find a, a new home for you very soon. Oh, and he's now talking to you. I don't know if we can pick it up on the mic. There it is. <laughs> He's a happy little guy. And, you know, for someone who's never had a guinea pig, how long do they live? They can live between six to eight years of age. Mm -hmm. um, so a, a nice enough time to really get attached to them and train. But if, uh, if you're planning on retiring in a few years, this might be the ideal pet time-wise to, right. you know, six to eight years of age. <laughs> All right. He's really loving his time in the studio, aren't you? Yes, you are. Well, thank you, Milo. And thank you, James. Thank you.